Hello, my name is Raido Boost, and in this video, I will install Autodesk Revit 2017 first time. First of all, you need to browse autodesk.com website and simply search Revit as a product. After finding landing page, you can then click download free trial or you can also click free trial on top menu. It's simply up to you which one you pick. Once you click on it, you can include your email address and then start to install Autodesk Revit 2017 with a web installer, meaning that you actually installing Revit 2017 while downloading it. Of course, you have an option to use Autodesk account. It means that you have license already. Then you can start quite the same procedure from your Autodesk account. Simply find Revit, click on downloads, pick version, platform and language, and then you can click on install now button. I use this methodology right now, but of course you have several other options, including different design suites, installing Autodesk Revit as one of the products from there. So I click on install now button. Once I do it, I have to agree with the license. I accept and then clicking on install. Once I do that, I can save my set a file to my local hard drive, pick any location you want, click on save and once this download is finished you can click on it and start actual installation. Click on yes. Please do understand that if you use web installer you need quite good internet connection during installation so that everything will go smoothly and as you see the first package that will be downloaded is approximately 500 megabytes so we have to wait just a little bit. Once your download has finished, you can start with actual installation. Please note that using web installer, you don't have an option to create a deployment. You can start directly with installation or you can have a look to install tools and utilities section. So let's do that first. Click on install tools and utilities. And from here you can see that you have an option to install network license manager. If you plan to use network license, of course, then this is needed on a license server. Then you have an option to install Autodesk CAD Manager tools, Revit Server, and also if you are a developer, then Revit Software Development Kit. I skip all those and go back and clicking on actual install button. Installation requirements will then be determined. And after this process is finished, I can start to tune my installation. Of course, my main interest is Autodesk Revit 2017, so I click on that and I can then select different subcomponents what I want to install. I include most of them, perhaps as I'm metric user, I deselect Imperial. I also want to have desktop shortcut, so I leave this. Because Revit in nature includes each and every discipline, I also want to ensure that all is selected here. But if I'm working only at architectural or at construction or MEP side, then I can select my discipline. Later on, I can tune my user interface as I want to. I can use also UK terminology, for example, I use British English and I can select my default project path. I then click on Revit 2017 again to close this one and then I click on Revit content libraries. As you actually see, my disk space requirement is quite high, but it's mainly because by default quite many content packs are silently selected. Of course, I don't want all those and I want to pick only those that I really need. It's possible to install some specific content pack later on, so I don't need to consider everything right now. I select US metric, I deselect those countries from here. Of course, if you want to, you can select, it's up to you, and just ensuring that that's my main content pack right now. If you have your own content packs, you can add those. I can then select my default content. For example, if I have selected different content packs, then I can select my default. But in my case, I do have only one. I can configure my content path. I leave those as shown here. And then I can simply click on content libraries again. I should see that my disk space requirement is much smaller now. Please also note this small yellow mark. It clearly indicates that no content is actually downloaded yet. So it means that during installation, you need to have a good internet connection to download all needed files. 
I also include shared components, Autodesk Material 2017, so that is selected. I can then select my installation pass. I leave it as it is, a default one. And of course, we should always double check, for example, system requirements, what is needed from a hardware side to install and use Revit 2017. Also some additional help from installation side and some general readmap. So those are web links and you can click on those to ensure successful installation. All my selections are configured, so I can move on and just clicking on install button. I may get notifications that I have some earlier version, so it's okay. Just um, ensure that your installation can continue, uninstall existing products, clicking on yes, and continue with my Revit 2017 installation. Please also note that I do need some additional downloading. Again, depending my internet connection speed, my installation in that way may take a bit longer than it used to right now. We should simply wait a little bit. Altogether we have 16 components, including programs like Revit 2017 itself. If this number counts to zero, I should see a successful message that my installation went well. So let's wait a little bit and we come back later. All right, as my installation has finished, I can see a green check mark if my installation was successful. Currently it was, so all good. And I can close installation dialog clicking on finish button. After that, I should see my Revit 2017 icon and I can fire up Revit 2017 first time. So let's do that. Once I fire up it first time, I need to decide if I want to use a trial license to use a product for 30 days or I can directly enter a serial number or use a network license. That's one of the good things that now you don't have to reinstall your product if you want to switch in between different license types. You can do it once you need it, firing up the same dialog from your software. I'm currently starting a trial license, so I click on start the trial and my Revit 2017 will be loaded first time. All right, here I am and I can see that my trial license will end in 30 days. But if I want to, I can go to activation screen and license my product. In my next video, we have a quick look about some shiny new features in Revit 2017.